Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, find a way to lose, find a way to make some easy money, especially millions of dollars, if you can get a fight with Jake Paul. Now, the thing is, a uh, retired world champion, Amir Khan, uh, he was saying that he was done with boxing, right? Body doesn't feel right. This man tested positive for some substance, which I don't personally think he was on anything. He still got beaten in the fight by Kilbrook. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, but but nonetheless, man, the former unified super lightweight champion uh, is deciding that, hey, if he can get an opportunity to fight Jake Paul, he will come back and take on the uh, controversial figure. Now, for anyone out there who is saying, well, what happened to the failed drug test? I'm going to tell you, I don't know. I personally think it was all BS. Uh, makes you wonder how all of a sudden Conor Ben tests positive for something, then out of nowhere, Amir Khan, who's been retired for months, Something comes out about America. If that's not the secret society at work, I don't know what is. But at the end of the day, Jake Paul's fighting at like what, 180? America's highest weight was 155. But he's saying he'll put the weight on to fight Jake Paul. Now, I, I, I'm going to tell you this right here. Amir Khan, in his prime, had to give him a chance to beat anybody. Forget the chin issues that surfaced later. Or maybe he always had the chin issues. Breedis Prescott exposed that button. Not everybody was able to land that shot on him, okay? But this version of Amir Khan against this Jake Paul that has no respect for anybody, I just think that would be an embarrassment if Amir Khan got in there and ended up just so happened to get hit with one of those no-luck right hands by Jake Paul. So that being said, I, I really don't want to see him come back fighting, especially at 180 pounds. It just doesn't make sense. I understand he doesn't like uh, Jake Paul. He's gone on to say Jake Paul gets on his nerves. Uh, he doesn't like the way he conducts himself, the way he acts, thinks that he's full of himself. And bottom line is Amir Khan just wants to beat, beat him up. So Jake Paul hasn't been fighting enough in order to have the attitude he has. But I'll tell you this, man. This man's retired. He looks like he's in good shape. But I just don't think he needs to be messing around with Jake Paul. Let the young people do what the young people do. Let the YouTubers have their fun. Let this, this this shock entertainment boxing spectacle that's taking place, let that continue. You, you stay in your lane, Amir Khan. Leave that man alone because I tell you what, you go in there getting cute with Jake Paul, and Jake Paul does not care. He will try to knock Amir Khan out. He will try to hurt him. He will foul him. This is an opportunity for Jake Paul, who I'm not saying he's going to beat Amir Khan, but what I'm telling you is, he, he just don't want to get into getting cute with Jake Paul and getting careless, and Jake Paul just happens to touch you. That's the last thing Amir Khan needs. But that being said, Amir Khan basically wants to be a bully and go beat up Jake Paul because he doesn't like him. For it, he'll probably get 15, 20 million. That's what Amir Khan's looking at the money. That, and, and it will be in Saudi Arabia. Hmm, right? <laughs> Pay attention, people. Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans. I don't think the fight's going to happen. But you just never know. Anyway, in the breeze.